economy, tax reform, and immigration, all top concerns headed into tonight's Iowa caucuses. Our next guest, though, says national security significantly, uh, specifically cybersecurity, is taking center stage in Fortune 500 boardrooms across the country. Gary Steele is with us. He's the CEO of Proofpoint. Gary, good to see you. Great to Thanks be here. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. What's the biggest concern when you speak with Fortune 500 companies right now? What are they most worried about? I think everyone shares a common concern, which is their brand. If they have a big cyber attack, if they have a breach, um, it, it can destroy their brand, destroy shareholder value. Can they do anything about it? Absolutely. I think we're, we're in a world where the threat landscape has changed. Organizations need to improve their security posture, and there's a lot of time and investment being spent today on improving that security posture to be able to better defend themselves against today's hacker. You know, as a senator, I was uh, one of the ranking members on Homeland Security, felt cybersecurity was the next frontier. And one of the biggest challenges is obviously not only government hacking, but the private businesses losing their trademark, losing their value, losing their, their secrets uh, to China, to Korea, to other bad actors. And it's, it's taking a dramatic toll uh, on our economy, uh, on employment, on our innovation. So what do you provide? How, what, what do they do to basically to make sure that doesn't doesn't happen. Yeah, there's, the, the reality is today that most hackers, they target individuals in the company, so they target the way they work. So they do phishing attacks in email, they target them on mobile, they target them on social. It's where individual workers today are spending their time. So they know somebody is a triathlete or a runner, they'll go and start hammering them with, with athletic type of things? Is that what you're Just saying? Just find something that you, they think you're going to be interested in and try to get you to be compelled to click. And once you click on, that's their opening. Is that correct? That's correct. So some form of malware will get installed on their device, steal their credentials, steal their information, steal their IP. You know, here's Very something stuff. that's not being paid attention to in the cyber world, though. We think of companies as isolated environments. If they hack into Facebook or fish and attack, that's just Facebook. These are portals to other companies, information, companies that do business with government entities. If you can get into that company, you possibly have a backdoor. How many companies out there, or maybe not the companies, but in the cyber protection environment, are they looking at the tentacles of how this can work? And, and, and frankly, educating their employees. At SiriusXM, we have an upcoming uh, cyber training for all employees because even there we've got to look at all the information we have with all our subscribers and the tentacles out to other companies. Well, well definitely um, security awareness is a huge issue in most companies. You have to have the, the individual employees understanding what's happening and as you said it's really not uncommon for a hacker to go after some partner, some other organization that may have access into that broader organization. So you have to think about the cyber world in a very different way. These are bad guys, they are motivated financially, they're making billions of dollars day in and day out, and so you have to have a security posture that allows you to defend yourself against it. And, and if you look it's at the cost different. of cyber, you're talking about tens of billions a year versus a bank robbery. In yeah. a bank robbery, you get 10, 15 million, 20 million a year annual or something like that. You get over 47 billion a year. Yeah, in which is why I think crime. this is an unlimited spend. I mean, when you look at a corporation today, it's an unlimited spend. This is one of the things that is in their budget. It's, it's, it's not going to be cut. Right. Not, not in today's day. No, no, no way. No, and actually, security as a percentage of IT spend is increasing. Not yeah. yeah. We're going to continue to see exactly. that. Exactly. You look at the government. My, my entire family's identities have been compromised, obviously, through the government hacking. And uh, their response is, uh, you know, just give us a bunch of numbers. Oh, you know, it won't happen again. I don't trust them as far as I can Have you gotten through your PIN numbers yet? Because I, I, I did. My wife doesn't work, though, so i got to figure that out. Is there any candidate that is saying the right things as it relates to this subject? Or is this not fixable? I mean, this is just... Just, you, you can only try to get in front of it, but there's no cure. Well, I think if you look across all the candidates, both on the Republican and Democratic side, there hasn't been much discussion. And this is, a, this has to be a top issue. Well, there's been no discussion with the Democrats. I mean, let's be real. In the top 10 uh, items in Hillary Clinton's wish list, it not only is national and world security not an issue dealing with terrorism. Oh, she's dealing with an issue. email scandal, Scott. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's well, why. Yeah, so there might be a not, not for nothing. It's it funny that they actually found it, too, right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it doesn't win votes. That's why people are concerned about their job security and they're not making any more money. They're not making enough money. Yeah. Those are the two, I think two big huge. things. I and think then homeland, but, but, and I, then but, terrorism. I, but I do believe that this is on the minds of every consumer. Absolutely. Everyone's trying yeah. to figure out how do they better protect their data. They don't want to have identity theft. They don't want to have these issues. But it's a complex problem. It, yeah. And it doesn't get solved overnight. And more investment needs to be made. Right.
Well, it's funny that you brought up both parties because we're dealing with a private <laughs> server situation with Hillary Clinton and, you know, it's kind of elephant in the room. Gary, thank you. Thank you very Good much. Stuff. It's Gary a pleasure Steele to be here. Us there.